Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, The Moody Pages. I'm Chanel, your fellow mood reader. In today's vlog, we have just two books, so it's nothing too crazy, but we have some fun times. And this took over the course of a month because I put myself in a reading slump. I am barely getting out of that reading slump and I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. It was fun to put together when I remembered to film and when I had a time to to read. And some dude just stared at me with like, okay. So I hope you guys like the little vlog. Today I am reading Bride by Allie Hazelwood. This is her first fantasy romance and I'm a little about halfway through it. To be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about it even halfway through. I decided to vlog this experience because I know that this is a really popular book, people want to hear about it, and on top of that I might be back in my fantasy romance era. I took a I took a step back from fantasy romance probably like in January after or maybe February after reading Crescent City 3 I feel like I was kind of disappointed in the ending at first I was like okay this was actually really good for a while there it was like that's my favorite Crescent City book and then this didn't live up to what I was wanting so I was really disappointed I've read a few fantasy romance since and I'm just not in love with them either so I think I might be back. I read Until the Stars Fall um, by Vanessa something. I'm gonna put a little picture here and I loved this book. It was perfect. It had all the tropes that I love. It's a standalone so if you want to read it go read it. That made me fall in love with fantasy romance again. So that's why I'm kind of like okay I think I'm gonna pick up Bride. I know that this is a popular fantasy romance right now. Um, I know that there's werewolves, there's vampires, there's humans, there's nodding. So, I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I'm about halfway through. It's okay so far. It's not any anything amazing, but it is keeping me interested enough. Um, I am getting ready for a brunch. I got my coffee because we're meeting a little bit later. You're in the video now. There we go. Let's see. He always has to be the center of attention. Okay, well, all right, let's read. I'm going to brunch. Don't know how long I'm gonna film this a vlog for, but let's have fun with it. I'm not gonna do many spoilers or any at all so I'm just gonna kind of leave it there but um, the tension is tensioning the spice is building it's you know starting to build up before it burns okay anyways I'm gonna go try and finish the rest of this book tonight it's like 8, 8 p.m. I have work tomorrow but I'm gonna try and finish this book and I have faith in myself and I will check in later whenever I am done. I finished Bride last night and I had to gather my thoughts. The last 50% of the book was really good. Maybe even like the last 70, 75%. I was loving this book. Is it the, it's not the best fantasy romance ever, but it definitely had me like it was definitely reminding me of these are the tropes you like in fantasy romance so that was nice to get those little reminders finished bride last night 
and I give it a four star rating. Not like 100% this is the best fantasy romance ever, however, it is a good one if you are trying to pick up back into it or pick up fantasy romance. I was, hmm, I was reminded of the tropes I like, so that was a really nice reminder. However, it's not the best fantasy romance I've read, so that's why it, I'd like, it's a solid four. If anything, it'd be leaning maybe closer to like 3.75 versus like a 4.325 and up, or 4.25 and up. Anyways, like, let's not get into like the math of it, but it was a good book. I would recommend it and I will be keeping it. I think it was good. Now, what do I read next? I have no idea. I do have this outstanding Slaying the Vampire Conquer. This is kind of a bigger book. It's definitely more pages than I was hoping for. However, the font is pretty big in my opinion. So I, I might pick this up. This was a book club pick for January for my Romanticy book club. But every time I've started it on the Kindle, I have just not been into it. So I might pick this up. I might pick up A Fate Inked in Blood. I do have a special edition for that, so I might grab that. We shall see where the mood takes us, and, and you'll find out. You'll find out in a little bit. Good morning. There's some maintenance workers outside or landscapers outside, so you might hear some stuff. I am reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is my second time reading it. Um, I'm reading it for a traveling book club situation. Um, so I'm about halfway through it right now, and these are all the tabs that everyone has put in. And I have to say, this is the first time I read this, I was actually on audio, and the audio was phenomenal and I gave it five stars. I am currently reading this for the first time and I am just mind blown at how good the writing is. Like I knew that the um that the writing was really good with uh like the audiobook but this is just top tier. Um I don't know if I can get, if I want to go into like spoilers or not but let me just tell you that this was the most pleasant surprise as someone who was, I don't know, oh man, how much do I want to give about myself? As someone who is, who was questioning whether they were bisexual or not, this book was very, um, this book made me feel seen and it made me feel like I had a huge hug and this was just everything I needed at the time, and I think still to this day it is. So I love this book so much. I'm excited to keep reading it. I've been trying to finish this by Thursday night. It's Wednesday night, so I have to read another 100 pages a day, which I think is very doable because this is a quick read for me. Okay, I will let you guys go. Let's get the day started. It is a Wednesday morning for me, so I need to make some coffee and get to work. I finished The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's been a hot minute since I filmed that. It's been well over a month and I am now in a new house. <laughs> 
so fun stuff. But um, if you haven't read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, definitely read it. It is just an amazing, fantastic read. I loved it more than I thought I would, and it's just amazing. Anyways, I'm gonna uh, end off the vlog here because it's been 10 years, but I hope to make some more bookish content. Look at how cute the bookshelf is. <laughs> Um, it was just looking a little dim when I was trying to film over here, so I'm over here with my fiance set up. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video.